For fuck's sake, the money wasn't there. What do you want from me? I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. You heard what happened to Drew, right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it? that chicks think it's okay to hit me. But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman? Why do you care so much? Because... fuck you. I'm asking the questions here. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> No way. What the fuck is your pro- Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? We're aware. Not sure what that has to do with us. Me neither. But I'd like to find out. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon! Calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh! Ah! <laughs> oh, you fucking bitch!
Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? It was it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but... When he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then... We were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure, definitely. Uh, 
I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. All right, then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little, well, guilty lately. Uh, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that Whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I bet you'd look cool with a little color. Yeah? I'll have to think about it. Maybe something red? Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No, not at all. If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See you, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. 
Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Ooh, I wanna eat that. Right now. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Feel better. I, I mean, no pressure. I, I know it's gonna take a while. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh, oh, right, right. I'll um, I'll leave you alone. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, y you don't want that pudding, right? Uh, I'll take it off your hands for you. Over my dead body. Wonder if a little friendly competition will cheer Drew up. Let's see if I can convince Drew that I need the pudding more than he does. Good thing we're in a hospital, because they'll know exactly what to do with your corpse. Oh. You don't scare me, Chloe Price. Know what's scary? The shit they put in cafeteria pudding. Animal connective tissue causes cancer. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat this pudding and there's nothing you can do about it. Is that what your coach would want? You don't want to lose your edge, you know. You're getting a little soft. And by soft, I mean fat. If you loved pudding as much as I do, you might understand. Let's duel for it. Come on, you and me, you have thumb wrestling. Best two out of three. Best two out of three? Sounds like something a loser would say. Who are you calling a loser? I'm not the one who lost the use of my leg. She went there. Oh, shit. Damn, Chloe. That was cold. If you think that was cold, you should feel my blood when I murder you for that pudding. She's not going to quit, is she? Okay. I give in. We can share it. <laughs> All right. But don't get used to it. <laughs> Sucker. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you even in my room? Mm, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Hey, can I sign your cast? Go for it. Hmm, something encouraging. But not too encouraging. There you go. Thanks a lot. Anytime. You're pretty scary, Chloe. In a good way. In the best way. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Next time, you better bring me a snack. Next time, for sure. Oh, and Chloe? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Hey, 
Just heard the fire went out. Went out? Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. That's what James keeps saying. He's so strong in a crisis, you know? M my dad was like that. I'm sure he was. Just like his daughter. I just keep feeling like we were lucky. It, it could have gone so much worse, you know? I'm sure it would have been if you weren't there for her. I am so glad you and Rachel have found each other. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll... Come back in a little while. <laughs> My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost- You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean, I'm still mad at him for everything he's done, but it felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. My mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. 
I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's... different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's... uh... It's nice. I like your shirt, too. It... You never told me you were into cars. Guess you don't know everything about me. Sorry I bailed on seeing The Tempest with you. The whole thing just sort of <laughs> happened. Uh, no, not, not a problem at all. So, what's going on with you? Uh, I don't even know where to start. At the moment, I'm here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh, she got stabbed by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah. It was insane. Holy shit. Wait, are, are you okay? I mean, I'm probably not okay, but I can deal with that later. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. Come on. A random psycho going around stabbing people? For no reason? Well, that's what happened. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? 
So what? So... Obviously, something is going on. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any communic- <laughs> It's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this, but I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. Sweet. A secret key. Now to find the secret lock. Welcome to Shadyville. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel? That's so messed up. Sarah in this letter 
Doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night. So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. I have to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? I say. Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Un I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. James sure keeps lots of files on people. Sheldon. Why do I feel like I've heard that name before? This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could just take a wild guess and see what he says. Or maybe there's some info on the case hanging around the office. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow.
Oof. Better not touch that again. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Hope James doesn't really get Damon off the hook. That dude's gotta pay. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. Okay, if I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Oh, man, this guy's the snitch? He was so cool to me at the mill. Wonder if there's someone else I could pin it on instead. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Okay, there's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about? Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash.
Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Holy shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay, I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe. What is... Ah! Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? I, I can't tell you, but obviously this is pretty serious shit. That's why I need to leave right now. You mean serious for Rachel, right? But, but you're the one putting yourself in danger again. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... stop suggesting that she's somehow... Bad The for... next day, she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get suspended. R Rachel was there for me. She did everything she could to protect me. I guess it wasn't enough, huh? You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? Seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough! Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage. She's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot. I, I promise. N no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout. Hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy! It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Dude. You, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? 
Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Elliot, please. I know you're upset, but... I'm not upset! I'm trying to help you. Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Here's what's going on. We're at the DA's house, and we should probably leave before he comes back. Don't worry. With Rachel in the hospital, James isn't coming anytime soon. I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're the one who's keeping me here. At the Arcadia Bay DA James Amber's house. You're acting strange. What's going on? What? Nothing. I... What are you... Ugh, you bitch! Can't you see? I just want to help you! You're going to assault me now? That's how far you'll go to protect Rachel? This is what I'm talking about. No! You idiot! What the fuck? Better run, dickbag. Cops will be here any minute. 